I reserved a dealer table at the SeaTac Guitar Show coming up in a couple weeks. I wound up accumulating um, a number of guitars that I need to sell off to fund other projects. Uh, I guess really to buy more guitars. Um, but I need some guitar stands. I've over the years, I got rid of my guitar stands because uh, I don't really have the, the space to have them sitting on the floor. And uh, when my kids were younger, they would always mess with them or knock them over. I wound up getting uh, um, hangers like this one. Um, I've got this one here in the living room. And back in the bedroom, I've got like uh, pretty much a wall full of guitars hanging there. Uh, but I, I need some guitar stands for this, uh, for this guitar show. And rather than scramble to go find some used or uh, go to a store and buy a number of them brand new, I'm going to uh, try to build some out of... Uh, some lumber that I've been accumulating <laughs> out in the shed. This stand project worked out great. I just cut an L shape out of this wood and used uh, the bicycle chain to attach them like a hinge and then as a, a spanning thing. And then the electric guitar needed, a, it's a smaller body so it needed a smaller back and I was able to cut these L shapes from the leftover of the, uh, the acoustic guitar one. So there was very little waste. I had some other stands uh, stashed under the bed that I forgot about, so I only needed to make three stands. All right, so there they are, the guitars I'm gonna take to the guitar show. Uh, this one, this Lark in the morning, I am uh, still need to fix up. Tonight I'm gonna go meet a guy to uh, pick up some tuners to put in that. And uh, I've got some bridge pins that it needs already. Uh, and then some other odds and ends. I have like a giant rain stick I'm going to be trying to sell. And some other stuff that I'll 
output to, to fill out the table. Uh, so that's just in a couple of days, my first guitar show. Wish me luck, guys. I'll let you know how it goes.